Your fuel injectors are 40% clogged right now. SAE research proves it. And 90% of the additives promising to fix them? Chemical fairy tales. But here's what mechanics won't tell you. There are seven additives backed by SAE engineering data used by German taxi fleets and hidden in OEM service bulletins that actually work. Today, I'm exposing those seven plus four deadly ones that'll turn your engine into a $6,000 paperweight. First, we'll break down the best seven additives that science confirms actually work. Then I'll expose the four that'll destroy everything. Seven additives that protects your engine. Number one, Chevron Tecron Concentrate Plus. This is the polyetheramine champion. Tecron uses high molecular weight, PEA, to dissolve carbon on fuel injectors, intake valves, and combustion chambers. BMW and GM reference it in service manuals, not marketing fluff, actual TSBS. In controlled tests, drivers saw two to three MPG improvements after one tank. The catch? It only shines on engines running low quality fuel or high mileage motors, 80,000 plus miles. On a well-maintained Lexus with premium fuel, you'll notice nothing. Here's the moment of truth. If your car hesitates during acceleration or idles rough, this is your first suspect. Use it every 3,000 miles if you're buying discount gas. Otherwise, you're just enriching Chevron's quarterly earnings. And here's something dealers won't admit. They use this exact formula before selling used cars to mask fuel system issues. Now, if you want the budget version of this magic, watch what's coming next. Number two, gum out fuel injector cleaner. Here's your budget hero. At $5 per bottle, gum out delivers concentrated PEA that cleans port fuel injection systems without attacking rubber seals. It works on engines under 100,000 miles that haven't seen neglect. The genius? You can use it preventatively every 5,000 miles without overdosing your system. API testing confirms it reduces fuel trim corrections by 12% in mid-mileage engines. One smart detail, it doesn't trigger oxygen sensor malfunctions like cheaper brands. Picture this, you're filling up at a questionable gas station on a road trip. Gum out in your trunk is your insurance policy. If your car passes emissions but feels sluggish, this is your first move. Just follow the 21 gallon mix ratio. Overdosing kills the party. The best part? You can actually feel the difference in throttle response within 50 miles. No placebo effect here. But what if your engine isn't port injected? That's where the next one becomes your lifeline. Number three, CRC GDI intake valve and turbo cleaner. Welcome to the direct injection nightmare. SAE studies prove GDI engines accumulate 40% more carbon than port injected motors after 100,000 miles. Why? Fuel never washes the intake valves. CRC's formula uses extra strength PE designed for valves drowning in baked carbon. But here's the kicker. You don't pour this in the tank. You spray it directly into the intake manifold while the engine runs at 2000 RPM. Borescope tests show visible metal after treatment. Costs $17 versus $800 for walnut blasting. Imagine watching your mechanic quote you $800 then you pull this from your garage and save yourself a month's car payment. Use it every 10,000 miles on Audi, VW, or Mazda Skyactiv engines. Miss it and you're funding your mechanic's vacation. I've tested this on a 2018 Audi A4 with 90,000 miles. The idle smoothed out instantly and the check engine light for misfires disappeared within 100 miles. Now let's switch gears, literally, and talk about what's happening inside your oil system. Number four, Liqui Moly Mos, two anti-friction treatment. German taxi fleets don't gamble, they use data. Liqui Moly adds a molybdenum disulfide boundary layer on metal surfaces, cutting valve train friction by 50%. That's from Bosch Tribology studies, not Instagram testimonials. It works best on engines over 100,000 miles where oil film strength is weakening. You'll notice quieter cold starts and reduced lifter tick. The warning, never use this during break-in, under 5,000 miles. New engines need friction for piston ring seating. It's also compatible with turbos and DPF systems. Think about those winter mornings when your engine sounds like a diesel chainsaw. This silences that chaos. One bottle treats five quarts of oil. Mix it during your next oil change, not before. 
not separately. Mercedes-Benz taxi drivers in Berlin reported engines running past 500,000 miles using this. That's not marketing, that's municipal fleet data. If you need something that works in both fuel and oil systems, this next one is your Swiss Army knife. Number five, Seafoam Motor Treatment, the Swiss Army Knife of Additives. Seafoam works in fuel tanks, oil crankcases, gas, and diesel, which sounds impossible until you check the chemistry. It's a petroleum-based solvent blend that stabilizes fuel, cleans PCV systems, and liquefies sludge. Over 80 years of fleet use validates it. Mechanics use it to free-stuck EGR valves and dissolve carbon rings. The trade-off? It's a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. It won't out-clean Tecron or out-lubricate Liquimoly. But here's where it shines. When you buy a used car with unknown maintenance history, Seafoam is your diagnostic detective. Add it to oil 100 miles before an oil change. Watch the magic in your drain pan. One mechanic showed me a crankcase that looked like chocolate pudding. After seafoam treatment, it drained clean amber oil. Now, diesel owners, don't think I forgot about you. Your next additive is non-negotiable. Number six, Hotshot Secret Everyday Diesel Treatment. Diesel owners, this is your ULSD survival kit. When refineries strip sulfur to create ultra-low sulfur diesel, they also strip natural lubricity. Result? Fuel pump wear scars increase from 350 to 520 microns. That's catastrophic. Hotshot's EDT adds synthetic lubricity agents, dropping wear to 361 microns in ASTM testing. It also boosts cetane rating by seven points from 42 to 49, improving combustion efficiency. Users report five to 7% fuel economy gains and quieter injector operation. Let me put this in perspective. Your diesel fuel pump costs $4,500 to replace. This $15 bottle is your insurance premium. Use it every tank if you're running a Cummins, Duramax, or Power Stroke. Skip it, and your replacement is already scheduled. A fleet manager in Texas told me his trucks went from 180,000-mile fuel pump failures to 320,000-plus after switching to this. That's real-world ROI. Now, before we expose the killers, Here's one additive every car owner needs. Number seven, at 205, reseal. This is the only additive I'd recommend to my own family. At 205 is a plasticizer. It restores elasticity to hardened rubber seals and gaskets. As seals age, they lose plasticizer content, crack, and leak. This formula re-softens them without swelling or degrading. It works in engine oil, transmissions, power steering, differentials, anywhere rubber seals exist. Aviation mechanics use it on $80,000 turboprop engines. Cost, $12 per bottle. It stops valve cover leaks, rear main seals, and transmission pan seeps. Here's the reality. Most leaks aren't mechanical failures. They're chemical aging, and this reverses it. Add it to your system and drive 500 miles. If the leak doesn't slow, then you need hard parts. This isn't magic, it's polymer chemistry done right. I use this on my own 15-year-old truck's transmission. The leak stopped completely in 400 miles. Saved me a $1,200 seal job. Now let's talk about the four additives that'll destroy everything we just protected. Additive number one that kills. Off-shelf octane boosters. Cheap octane boosters are mathematical fraud. They promise 10-point gains which means 1.0 octane number. So your 91 becomes 92. Useless. Real performance needs four to five octane points, 91 to 95 to 96. Worse, many contain MMT, methylcyclopentadienyl manganese tricarbonyl, which deposits orange manganese on spark plugs and oxygen sensors. That's a $1,200 sensor replacement. If you need octane, buy premium fuel. If your engine knocks on premium, you have carbon buildup or timing issues, fix the root cause. I've seen guys spend $200 on bottles trying to fix a $30 spark plug problem. Octane boosters are for race engines with custom tunes, not your Camry. One customer came to me with four failed O2 sensors in six months. Turned out he was dumping cheap octane booster every tank. 
thinking it made his V6 faster. But at least octane boosters won't clog your engine. This next one will. Additive number two, Teflon-based oil additives. Remember Slick 50? They paid a $10 million FTC fine in 1997 for false advertising. PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene, doesn't bond to metal at operating temperatures. Instead, it clogs oil filters and passages. NASA engineers confirm this. The particles are 10 to 50 microns, perfect for blocking VVT solenoids and turbo oil feeds. API explicitly warns against PTFE additives in modern engines. If someone recommends this, they're either selling it or haven't read engineering literature since 1995. Your engine oil already has friction modifiers. Adding PTFE is like wearing two pairs of gloves to improve grip. It doesn't work, and now your hands are clumsy. A Toyota technician once showed me a disassembled V VVT actuator packed solid with white PTFE paste. The repair cost $1,800, all from a $25 miracle additive. The next killer doesn't just clog, it promises the impossible. Additive number three, engine rebuilders. With soft metals, copper, silver, lead additives claim to rebuild worn cylinders. Physics disagrees. Cylinder walls are hardened steel. Soft metals can't bond or restore them. What actually happens? The metals suspend in oil, increasing abrasive wear on bearings and rings. These are thickening agents that temporarily mask symptoms, low compression, oil burning, while accelerating internal damage. If your engine needs rebuilding, it needs machining. Pistons, rings, honing. No bottle will grow metal back. This is automotive homeopathy, expensive placebo with real side effects. Think about it. If a $20 bottle could rebuild engines, mechanics wouldn't exist. I once tore down an engine that the owner treated with this stuff. The rod bearings looked like they'd been sandblasted, and the oil pan had a quarter inch of metallic sludge. But this last one isn't just fake, it's illegal and deadly. Additive number four, tetraethyl lead, TEL. This is the neurotoxic ghost of automotive history. TEL was banned in most countries because it's a brain, liver, and kidney poison. It destroys catalytic converters instantly and contaminates the environment. If someone offers to boost your octane with TEL, you're dealing with illegal activity. It's still used in aviation fuel, but automotive use is criminal in 99% of jurisdictions. Even one tank can brick your emission system, $3,000 plus repair, and poison your bloodstream. This isn't a product review, it's a public safety warning. Report it, don't use it. And if someone tells you it's vintage racing fuel, they're either ignorant or dangerous. The EPA tracks tell contamination. Using it can result in federal fines up to $37,500 per day, plus criminal charges if you're caught selling it. Your engine isn't worth jail time. That's not car care, that's car science. Comment your engine type and mileage below. I'll tell you which additive your system actually needs. The pinned comment has the maintenance routine that beats all chemicals. Drive smart, stay sharp, and remember, the best additive is the one you don't need because you maintained it right.